Hello guys and welcome on my YouTube channel uh, Finami. Today we will talk about the uh, uh, company Imperial Brands. Um, so at first a quick overview about the topics and please be aware that I'm only talking here about my own opinion. So uh, investing can be very risky. You can lose your whole money. So you always have to inform yourself before you start anything doing. And now let's get started with the business model. So we have here tobacco company. So they produce and sell <clears throat> in the globally context uh, tobacco products. Some brands which you may know is Winston, Davidoff or Gorlois. And they also focus on next generation products like the e-cigarettes or, or also heated tobacco. Uh, they are operating in developed and emerging markets and yeah, they just do their revenue with the traditional tobacco and the next generation products. Regarding the financials, um, we see here uh, profit on sales, uh, which is not quite stable, so it's increasing and decreasing quite few times um, the net profit yeah some billion dollars the net assets are way more lower than the total debt the shares outstanding for many years they remain to be the same and the P ratio is also going up and down here and it's a 24 billion dollar company Okay, and when we have a look at the dividend, uh, we see here that it was risen up for quite some years until 2019. And then uh, the, it decreased uh, to 1.38 pounds. And then it did decrease only little from what I see here. And when we have a look at the risk, uh, we have here the regulatory risk. So you know that there may be restrictions on, on tobacco products, or uh, also declining cigarette consumption, and that mostly happen in the developed markets. So there can also be health-related lawsuits maybe in the future, or also more higher taxes on the tobacco products but also competition from other brands in the market. And on the other hand, we have the chances which there may be a higher growth in the uh, alternative products like the A-cigarettes or heated tobacco and also opportunities in emerging markets which have a higher tobacco demand. Uh, also potential to streamline operations to reduce cost or uh, also maybe uh, also reduced risk products and yeah of course also the whole invasion and development in the new products and now a bit of my own opinion um yeah so they, they have quite some interesting brands, yeah, but there is also a huge number of competitors like British American Tobacco, for example, or Japan Tobacco uh, or Eltria. So um, I don't know what to quite think about that company. Um, I wish they had a higher, um, uh, higher net assets there, but yeah. Uh, but in general, really interesting company and I think definitely worth for more detailed analysis. Okay, well guys, thanks for watching until the end. Yeah, uh, write into the comments what do you think about Tobacco or about that company compared to others. Uh, write your comment and we will discuss there. So, again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and a sub. And I hope I will see you with the next analysis. Bye.